Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of a brand new model home that just opened in the Fields community here in Frisco, Texas. You're not gonna wanna miss today's model home tour. What's up everybody, it's Alex. I'm back with another episode of Texas Model Home Tours. Today, we're in Frisco, Texas, and we are in the Fields community, and I am taking you on a tour of a brand new model home with Britton Homes. Guys, this model home just opened. It just had its grand opening this week, two days ago. So you guys will be some of the first people to see this brand new, and I'm telling you, it's an absolute stunning model home. This is their 561A floor plan, and the home behind me starts at $1,350,000 as a four bedroom, about 3,900 square foot home with four baths, three car garage, it's got everything. But the model home that I'm gonna take you has some incredible structural options that you may wanna consider. So come with me on the tour. I'll point out those structural add-ons. We'll also talk about uh, some of the pricing. And there's three homes of this model being built right now that have deliverability this year. So definitely stick with me as we tour the home. I'll give you all the insights. But again, we're in Frisco, Texas, incredibly low tax rate, 1.8%. 87%. The HOA here, which are going to have some of the absolute best amenities, is about $2,700 a year. And this home is stunning, guys. Come with me on the tour. I'll explain everything. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Trust me. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Also, be sure to subscribe. We appreciate all you guys who are subscribing. We are growing rapidly. We really appreciate you. Let's head inside. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome inside today's model home tour. We have a very special home tour lined up for you guys. This is a brand new model home with Britain Homes here in the Fields community in Frisco, Texas. Guys, this stunning model home just had its grand opening this week with an exclusive grand opening just for realtors who have actually sold homes in the fields. And uh, we were blessed enough to be invited as we've sold several homes in this community. And this home is a stunning, stunning model home. So I'm excited to bring you on today's model home tour. You can just see the quality of finishes this home has. Let me step back from the front door just to give you that, that view of the entrance. Take a look at the two-story soaring ceilings right here in your foyer as soon as you walk in to the main entrance. I love the archway as you walk in through to your main living areas the herringbone design in these light colored blonde hardwood floors. And look at this home office. Such a unique take on the glass door there. You know, we've seen so many just standard French doors, but that, that black finished iron black French door with these built-ins and this ridiculous chandelier here, the double ring, Look at that, the gold brushed bronze finish there just pops. The dark black built-ins popping off the light wood. We've got light, lots of natural light in here. And again, in your office, look at the ceiling height in here. That's probably 14, 16 feet at least. And then this built-in bar area again. This is a structural add-on here, so this would just be a closet but just to give you an idea of what you can do to customize this floor plan. And I can tell you firsthand, selling lots of real estate, having a bar in the office, sometimes that's a necessity. Just joking with you guys there, but I love that here. The backlit LED lights, and look at these doors. Two full-size doors. So these are not the small 18-inch folding doors there, the uh, solid black glass iron doors with all this wood trim accent 
I'm so excited, I didn't even tell you guys about the model here. This is the 561A. That's the floor plan. It's got a killer elevation on this. I think it's the E31 or 61. We'll put that in the descriptions, what this elevation is, but it is absolutely stunning. This home as a base model, as a base model is a uh, about 3,900 square feet, four bedroom, four bath home with two of the bedrooms being down and two of the bedrooms being up. That is gonna start at about 1.35 million is the starting price and each elevation is gonna have its own standard base. Uh, the 1.35 million is your standard elevation, standard starting. Now the home we're touring today, this home has the fifth bedroom, fifth bathroom, media room add-on, and it's gonna take this well over 4,200 square feet. Take a look at this guest room. Wow, just great touches. Look at the arch there. They've put the ceramic tile, that brick lay, all the way through the ceiling. Beautiful finish here for your guest room. Got our nice tall vanity with that brushed bronze or gold finish. Walk-in closet here for your guest room. Such a pretty room here again, located in the front half of the home. So nice and secluded if you do have guests, feel like they've got their own little suite here. We've got our solid core doors. Let me show you nice, thick, heavy, solid core doors. Again, we've got your full eight foot doors here on the main level, your oversized trim package. And with this product line here being in the fields, a lot of what you're seeing is standard finishes. That's one of the things that separates this community from many other communities is the builders had to provide a high level standard package. Uh, the developer here was very stringent on the caliber and quality of home. You know, there's a certain design and a certain standard that they're trying to maintain here in this community. Take a look as we walk through this beautiful archway. The ceilings are going to open back up to a cathedral ceiling here in your main living area with the beautiful beam going from end to end you can see all the windows this home does have the upgraded triple sliding glass door along the back of the home here with the upgraded extended outdoor covered patio with kitchen look at that floor to ceiling guys those are huge slabs that's either going to be granite or quartz finish, probably a granite finish there in that fireplace. But those are probably three by six, maybe three by seven or eight piece, uh, foot slabs. So you don't have a ton of the seams going up. Just beautiful finish there. We've got our built in on each side. I really like these cabinets. Uh, just to give you an idea, guys, these are probably four, four and a half feet off the ground. So these are really large, nice and tall. And then you've got your floating shelves, all underlit LED. And then the up top, the windows there, having those four windows accenting each side of the fireplace, bringing in some natural light from the side of the home. You've got the four windows above the double sliding glass door. And you can see there's plenty of room to be able to walk around. We're definitely going out there to take a look at that covered patio area. But let me pan around just to give you a view here. All the way back to the front of the home with the archway. You've got your catwalks upstairs peeking down here. You've got your dining area. Now there is an option 
on this plan if you wanted to remove the home office and turn that into a formal dining room. That is one of the structural add-ons that you can decide whether or not makes sense for you. And then look at this kitchen, guys. This is the showstopper here. Look at the size of the kitchen, the island with the waterfall edge. I like this kind of, this is almost like a built-in hutch area, built right in with these huge cabinets coming all the way down to your countertop. And I like how they've two-toned them there. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think about the two-tone there, but kind of creates that hutch with the glass and the opening. Everything is backlit with LEDs. All the cabinets are underlit with LED lighting. Cabinets going all the way to the ceiling with those upper cabinets. And these cabinets, very sleek. As you can see, flat finish here panel. Really, you know, this is a luxury product. Somebody coming in here is probably spending, just to give you guys an idea, there are three builder specs under contract with this exact model. And those homes will be ready between May and August of this year. And those homes are being priced anywhere from 1.535 million to 1.585 million. And those homes are very well appointed with great finishes that the builder has picked out here. Now, this model home with all of the upgrades, all of the finishes, all of the design center. Again, we've got the upgraded kitchen package. We've got the built-in refrigerator with the cabinet door finishes so everything blends in seamlessly. We've got the chiller over here, the monogram. Uh, that's just, I mean, absolutely incredible here, all built in. This kitchen and the finishes here, again with the monogram, gas cooktop, with the beautiful vent hood here, built in with the two-tone. And take a look at that. I really like how they put that shelf up there, all built out of the, the granite or the quartzite there, finish, high-end appliances. Just keep in mind when you're looking at a product like this, guys, with all the built-ins, this home has the finest finishes. As you can imagine, the builder has gone above and beyond to really showcase what they can do in customizing a home like this. It's not uncommon for a home like this to have several hundred thousand dollars in upgrades above the build. So in the description, we'll find out from the builder what this home is kind of priced out at, but don't be surprised if this one is gonna come in, you know, at a 1.7, maybe even a 1.8 with what they've done here, especially with the exterior, with all the flowers and all the custom landscaping, that is not gonna be uncommon. Let's make our way down around the corner. You've got your utility room. Again, cabinets above, cabinets on both sides. They've added the utility sink in here, so that is something you can do when building. And then let's take a look at the pantry again, being used with the sales team right now with all the brochures, but you have a nice deep walk-in pantry. You could honestly add some additional shelves in here easily because you've got nice tall ceilings, but you've got a nice quality deep pantry and then as we make our way through here, this is the sales center, but this will be your actual garages 
when you pull in through here. So this is gonna be set up as a three car garage. So you can see the meeting room in there. That will be a two car tandem on this side in a single side garage. So three car garage, you'll walk in, you'll have your mud bench area right here where you can kind of kick off your shoes, hang up your coat, and it walks right in to your kitchen area. So that's the view coming in from the garage. Just look how spectacular the view and the sight lines are. We're gonna walk our way through here. Your primary suite is in the back of the home, but before we go there, let's take a step outside because this is super cool. If you guys have been following me, you know I'm a huge proponent of having that indoor, outdoor kind of living areas all coming together with the beautiful Texas weather that we get. And we get to enjoy so many months of outdoor living. Here you've got the extended patio, the fireplace, the cooking station, and that is gonna open up again with the double sliding doors there. All three of those panels are gonna slide open. And you can see the builder actually put the outdoor bug screen out here so you can close this off as well, which actually makes this like an extension of your living room. And as I mentioned, the grand opening was just this week and all of this was opened as there was about 40 or 50 realtors that were invited who've done transactions here with Britain in the fields. I love the outdoor sitting area here. These nice slabs here. So what they've done is they've done the oversized pavers outlined with the artificial turf. And then for our golf enthusiasts here, you've got some additional turf in the backyard. You can see next door has got a nice little putting green. Next door is actually the 50 foot model home for Britain, which we've already done as well on our channel. But you can see here on the 60 foot, you could easily put a nice pool back here. Obviously, if you didn't have these, uh, this lounge set, but you can easily put a pool back here with your 60 foot site plan. Now let's make our way back inside and let's take a look at the primary suite. All right, we're back inside. Before we walk into the primary, you see this home here has your half bath powder bath here, which is for your guests here in the main level, but take a peek here at your primary suite as we make our way through. Here you've got the beautiful elevated ceiling with the wood inlays, nice large chandelier, and this is a huge primary suite as you can tell. Plenty of room for additional seating and lounge seating. Three large double hung windows. So those are operational. You can open those up. Take a look at that ceiling as well. I think that finish right there. Of course, this home is outfitted with the surround sound and the built in speakers. That is something you can do in what's called your low voltage meeting. You could pick out what type of those finishes and touches you're going to add here to your home. Let's make our way to the bath. And again, you can see the attention to detail here with the wood slots. So these, this slotted wood here is actually pulled away from the wall. So you can see there's about an inch gap. And what they did is they put some LED lighting up there as well. I know it's hard to see with the chandelier, but that attention to detail. So you have the LED lighting, lighting from the ground there. You could actually see it very well. So 
that's a nice little touch there. And then let's spin around and take a look at this primary suite, guys. I cannot wait for your comments on this primary suite because I believe here this builder has done a fantastic job in all of the decision making. We've got the split vanity. I love when they do the floating vanity with the under cabinet lighting. I mean, just the attention to detail here, guys. You've got the backlit mirror. You've got waterfall edge on your vanities in the primary. The huge oversized soaking tub. And then here's your other vanity. And then take a look at this walk-in shower. I don't expect any complaints on this video because the builder has really done a fantastic job. Look at the size of this shower. You've got multiple shower heads, body sprayer. You've got your rain head. You've got your bench seat, all your built-in niches. Beautiful finishes here. Again, with that brushed bronze. Look at the size of the, uh, the porcelain slabs here. Again, these are probably two by four. So the oversize just even makes it feel even grander, even larger, but that is a huge walk-in shower. At this price point, that is exactly what you are looking for. They've also carried that along the whole back of the wall here, giving you the oversized slabs of porcelain tile all the way back around and behind your soaking tub. As we make our way, we'll take a peek into the closets. Here you have closet number one, because what Britain's done here is they've split the closets. So you've got two closets, one on each side of the primary bath, three levels of hanging. Take a look at the custom boxes here. So the shelving, great for purses, shoes. We'll make our way across. That door there is just your water closet with your toilet. But as we come in here again, this is closet number two. Again, with all the custom built-in features, three levels of hanging. So I'll let you guys fight and figure out who gets what closet. I could always joke around and tell you that in my closet, in my house, it becomes a hers and hers and I get a little sliver to make and hang all my clothes, but you guys can figure that out amongst yourself. Stunning primary suite here. Here's the view coming out of your primary bath. And again, look at those ceilings, the attention to detail, the beautiful finishes here with Britain Home, second to none with this 561A floor plan. Now let's make our way and let's head upstairs because there is a whole second floor to this model that we have not even taken a look at yet. We've got the circular staircase here. And as we go upstairs, I'll share with you guys a couple of the structural add-ons that they did here in the model and I'll walk you through that and let you know what's standard. So as we get to landing number one, you can see the staircase is gonna split to the left and the right. What I like about this floor plan, we're gonna go to the left first, is all of the bedrooms have really nice privacy. Sometimes you'll see like the Jack and Jill where two bedrooms are kind of close together and they'll share a bedroom or a bathroom, I mean, in between. Take a look at the privacy here. So this entire bedroom with ensuite bath is on this whole separate wing of the home. And here you can see we've got a very 
good size, well above average sized secondary bedroom. I love this seat here that they added in the window. Now this is because of the floor plan in the elevation. This elevation allows for that box seat right there because it pushes out towards the front of the home. Here's that ensuite bathroom. I love how they did that tiled accent wall. Just great finishes. And this one has a tub. So spin around, show you. This has a tub again. When you are building and at your design center, if you were to do a ground up and pick your lot, what bathrooms have stand up showers versus tubs? That is all decisions you get to make when you build. I love the wood trim. Take a look at that. Here's something guys, I do want to point out. These things look super cool in the model. These are things you may want to consider actually doing after you've purchased the home because you can usually get those done at a better price outside of the transaction. And that's some of the value that we bring when you guys purchase new constructions. I can walk you through those types of things. What makes sense to do with the builder? Uh, what structural add-ons make good sense? What are things you should be considering for one day future resale of the home? You know, that's something that is important to be thinking about because you want to pick the right design features of the home that are going to make your home competitive uh, one day in the future when you do decide to sell. So here's that catwalk upstairs with that great, beautiful view of the cathedral ceilings overlooking your kitchen, dining area and living room. Here we're gonna move into the game room. This is one of those add-ons that I wanna point out. Having the exposed beams go the length of this room is a add-on that you get to pick, whether you do that or not. We'll come back here in a second, but take a look at this. As I mentioned, each bedroom is separate. So they all feel private and spacious. Here you walk in, you've got your walk-in closet, but look at this room here. This one actually has two stairs, so it's a step down. And look at how large this secondary bedroom is. We've got some nice ceiling height in here again with the beautiful wood design that they carried through on the ceiling and wall three large windows again because of the elevation this part of the home let me just so you guys can see see how the the room kind of extends and slopes out to these three windows that's because of this specific elevation so these are the things that are going to change from elevation to elevation but you get the nice bench seating here Let's spin around so you guys can see the entrance here huge room I love the size of these secondary bedrooms. You're gonna take two steps up and directly across is your full bathroom that services this bedroom. Uh, the bath is detached because if you do have folks up here entertaining, you're using the media room, game room, you're gonna want people to have access to a bathroom without having to walk through a bedroom. One of the other things I'll point out here is this plan here, this specific model has the media room here. You can do the media room with doors as well, but if you like this open feel, that is an option. Take a look at how stunning the game room is. Little ping pong. And then here's the media room. So you've got a real private media room. I love the dark color in here. I like how they accented those canvas posters with the wood trim. The beautiful sconce lights. Again, this is gonna be pre-wired for your media system. And again, you can close it off or leave it open here. We'll spin around and give you a view from where 
The built-ins are, again, built-ins are gonna be optional. If you didn't have it, it would add probably about 20 to 24 inches of additional depth to this room if you were just doing a flat screen and you didn't want those built-ins. I love the uh, three kind of chase lounge here. If you're just hanging out, enjoying that movie. But if you're watching a big game, obviously, you know, having this openness here, you fit a ton more people up here and really use this for a great secondary hangout room. And the last room we're gonna check out is the fifth bedroom, fifth bathroom option. So again, this is a structural option that you get to choose whether or not you do. It does not come standard with the home. The home standard is a four bedroom home. Now what's nice is the three homes that are currently under construction right now with Britain that they are doing builder move in ready. We call them spec homes because the builder basically started the process. They've picked their designs, their finishes, their structural add-ons. Those homes are gonna be ready starting in May and uh, up until August with this exact floor plan. And those are five bedroom homes as well. Good size closet, plenty of space in there. And then again, because this bedroom is basically on the back half of the house, again, super private bedroom with a full ensuite bath. This is a good size room. You can see that bed, that low profile bed. That's probably a queen size bed. You have plenty of room on both the left and right for your nightstands. Spin around and pan around so you guys can take a look at that. All right, guys, that's the last bedroom up here. So again, in the model home that we're touring today, a lot of structural add-ons, uh, great display of what you can do with this model home with Britain. Absolutely loved and have enjoyed working with Britain here in the fields and in several other communities as well that we've sold with them. Um, amazing home here. Again, you've got the media room add-on, the fifth bedroom, fifth bathroom add-on, the super cool uh, exposed beams here in the game room here in the ceilings. So again, lots of structural add-ons, a lot of things you can do to really customize this home and make it unique inside the field. So leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Did you enjoy this brand new model home that again, just got, uh, just really just had its grand opening this week uh, here. So let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment. As always, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, that does a ton for us. We really appreciate it. Let's YouTube know we're producing great content, great videos, and exposes our videos to even more home buyers just like you who are interested in new construction or maybe are thinking about relocating from another market. So we really appreciate it. And if you are thinking about new construction, whether it be right here with Britain Homes in the field, any other builder, any other community, do me a favor, before you start the process, give me a call. Below is all of our contact information or scan the QR code and let's set up a quick Zoom. I love to chat with you, learn what's important to you about the area, the builder, and we can give you some great direction as we've worked with well over a dozen different home builders uh, with our buyers that have closed product. And we can share with you the good, the bad, the ugly, all the insights you're gonna wanna know, as well as maybe point out some builders in some neighborhoods that maybe you haven't seen that you should highly consider that are gonna fit what's important to you in this transition, either relocating or looking for a new home here. So reach out, let's chat. We'll also share with you all the discounts, incentives, and availability with all the builders in all the different neighborhoods. So we'd love to help you be your new home expert and guide you through this process to make sure you get the home you love, a great deal, and a smooth, easy home buying process. So appreciate you guys. We'll see you at the next model home tour. Take care.